we already have a flexible bind off. This is another method, very, very easy, but it makes it a very nice finish. So this is what we do. I just made this because it's you can see that it's even if you pro you can end it with knitting. So you are going to knit one, knit the next, and then your left needle goes in front of these two and you knit them together. So now you have one, you, you knit the other, your left needle you put in front and you knit them together. Again, we have one, you knit the next, you have two, the left needle you put in front and you knit them together. So let's repeat it. We have one, you need another one, so now you have two. Put your left needle in front of these two and knit them together. And of course your yarn is in the back. You knit another one, put your left needle in front of these two, your yarn is in the back, and knit them together. And that's it. I'm going to finish this and I'll see you at the end of this row. So this is the last one. I'm going to knit it, pass my left hand needle in front, knit them, and that's it. Pass your yarn through there and you're done. And see how flexible that becomes? So it's very nice, a very nice finish, flat at the top and it becomes very flexible. So nice and stretchy. stretchy. Thank you very much for watching. Please uh, share us with your friends and... Mm -hmm.